right here. Woo! I nailed that cone. Did you play? All right, let's get out of here. Woo! Look at that, guys. Out here, parked on the highway. And look what's behind me. Look at this. Right there. There is a secret pond. I've always wanted to fish for like four years. I've been checking this out. Hi, brush. There's a gate here, no signs. I'm not trespassing as far as I know. There's even a path. Look at this. Walk it in and boom. I just saw something move. It's probably a frog, something. Oh, something just moved right there. Looking at these conditions, I think it's safe to say what we need to start with. Let's go ahead and pull out Mr. Kermit, our frogs. You know what, right here. We're gonna try to get our first frog fish of 2019. In Maryland, most of the ponds on the side of roads are stormwater drain ponds. I know for a fact they are not stocked. But this pond right here, it does not look like a drainage pond. That's why I'm thinking that there could actually be something swimming in here. We're about to find out. Cast number one. Perfect. If we can just get one bite, that would be huge for my confidence. Just knowing that there's something swimming in here. Ah. That was a little anticlimactic. I was about to say, no bites in 10 minutes. We've got fish in here, guys. It's a small fish, but this is the information we needed. My hunch that this place has fish was correct. Now, how big are the fish are in here? We're gonna find out. Feisty fish. Dude, he nailed that frog. I've been fan casting this entire area, fishing the frog on top of the cover. That first fish came right here, right in the corner, near the tree, right along these reeds. So it looks like the fish might be super shallow. I'm gonna walk around and see if we can uh, repeat that pattern. This spot's kind of interesting, because look, it's entirely fenced in, but there are no signs, and look at that, the front gate is just completely open. And this, this pond is unnamed on the map, so I don't know if it's public or private, but there's fish in it, so I'm gonna fish it. Oh, fish right here. A fish followed my bait in. Check, watch this guys, watch this. A fish had just followed in my frog. Watch this. Dang. That was a follow though, that was a follow. There's more than one fish in this pond. That's what that means. All right, get over there. That's a prime looking spot. Oh, he, something just waked on it. Something just waked on it. You know what? These fish do not seem to be in a super froggy mood right now. There is actually another bait I can fish in these exact conditions. Here's what we're gonna try. We've got the old three-aught offset worm hook, black and blue Senko. And what we can do with this setup is we can fish the exact same areas as the frog but it's a little bit of a lighter profile and if it's in open water, you can just let it sink and fish it on the bottom. So now we can fish multiple areas of the water column instead of just the top. Oh, first cast, first cast. I got one, first cast. What do we got here? Little bass. The good news is my plan worked. The bad news is fish number two, even smaller than fish number one. So it's possible we have a stunted population of little fish in here. It's possible, but let's keep fishing and try to figure this spot out. That's pretty awesome though. If you have small fish, there's gonna be at least a couple good to big size fish in here. I would not be surprised if there's like one or two five pounders lurking around here somewhere. One more cast and we're making a move. Let's do, uh, let's go right there. Whoa. Oh, there's fish on it. 
little guy. I was picking a weed off my reel and the uh, this little dude saw the Senko dropping down from the uh, muck and decided to pick it up. So what's interesting is that these fish are quite small, but they're short, but they're pretty thick. Look at that. They're definitely not too skinny. So it, I don't know what's going on here, but hmm, there's gotta be some big fish in here somewhere. I, I definitely think if I keep fishing hard, I'm gonna run into a big fish somewhere. Here's a tip for you guys. When you're traveling through some uh, thick looking stuff, like I'm about to, what you wanna do, hold your rods behind you like this. Have the, uh, there you go. Lead with your body and have your rods trailing behind you like so. It'll make it much easier to uh, travel through this stuff. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Here we go. See that? Not too bad. Just gotta crouch low. Ah, ah, thorns. Ah, use those quadriceps. Ah, how? See, I may look like an idiot wearing these leggings, but I also get a lot more, a lot less cuts on my legs. So, what would you guys rather do? Would you rather look cool and be bleeding, or would you rather look like a fool but be safe and comfortable? I know what I choose. Uh, this casting angle is not good. Too many trees. Let's see how deep it is out here. Oh, sh <sighs> that was a drop off. Ah, oh, that caught me off guard. That caught me off guard. It's not that. Oh, okay. It's a pretty quick drop off, as you guys can see. Woo. All right. All right. We're steady. We're steady. Nothing valuable in my pocket, I don't think. Hopefully, no alligators in here. But as you can see, we now have a much better angle to cast at. Let's see if that helps us catch a fish. Oh, there's a bite. He's it's on it. There we go. Ah! Dink! Dude, are there any big fish in here? Man, this guy has super sharp gripper teeth. These guys must be feeding purely on minnows or something. Look at that. It like catches on my, on my thumb. Interesting. My camera ran out of batteries, so I let that fish go off camera. Check this out, guys. I just got out of the water, about to switch up my baits. Look what I found on my leg, right there. Look at that. You guys see that? That is a leech. That is why you wear leggings if you're gonna be going in the water like me. Let's pick this guy up, hold on. I think he's trying to hook onto me right now. I, uh-oh. Oh, ah! Woo! Uh. He started biting me, I had to let him go. I've actually never found a leech on my body ever while fishing. Thank goodness, that was a little guy. Oh wait, is that another one right here on my shoe? That's another one! Oh my gosh! Look at this, guys. Right there. Dude, look at that leech, look at him. God, I let him go. Let me check my legs, hold on. Hold on, let me check my man parts, gosh. Wait, Ooh. That is why you never travel without protection. You don't want a leech getting stuck in places you don't want them to get stuck. So, I put away the Senko. It's only catching me dinks. Trying to super fluke out. Hopefully I can catch one decent fish out of these leech infested waters. I'm not really sure if I want to go back in. Eh, YOLO. There's fish to be caught. All right, let's go nice and easy. Hopefully I don't find any leeches bigger than the ones that I found. Imagine coming out of the water and your legs are like covered in four inch leeches. Whoa, something just went up the back of my leg. Dude, that felt weird. I think it was a bubble though. Funny story for you guys. My buddy once got a tick stuck in the one place you never want to get a tick stuck. His mom had to help him get it off using uh, tweezers and a, and a match. Not a fun day for him, let's just say that. Oh, there's one! Oh, it's better! It's better! That's a better fish! That's a better fish! First cast with the super fluke. Whoa! Let's go, baby! Come here. Stay on. That's a good fish. First cast with the super fluke. Come, come here. I, okay. Where are you at? I can't see anything. Okay. There. Oh my! It's a giant. Oh, oh. 
Let's go! Ro oh! Roadside pod, baby! Look at that chug! Woo! All right, we're getting a little too hypey. Whew. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh! Ah, dude, that is what I'm talking about right here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! <laughs> So, I was gonna get a weight for you guys. That fish was about three and a half to four pounds. As you can see, he was a little bit eager to get back into the water. So, he's gone, bye bye. The good news is we caught him. The bad news is we did not get an official weight. Here's the bait that did the damage. Pearl white, super fluke, dipped in JJ's magic, chartreuse tail. I had it texposed to get through these weeds. When you're fishing a weedy area, there's really not many baits you can use. You can use a frog, a weightless senko, a weightless fluke, a weightless creature bait, but you really don't want to use weights when you're fishing a really mucky, mucky grassy bottom because it just gets stuck in there. So we found out that this pond has more than just dinks. This, this pond is truly a gem. I don't think anyone really fishes it too often at all. We have to keep this pond on the down low. So all you million subs, don't watch this video. Oh, that is a fish! Ah, my drag is not set! My drag is not set! Ah. That's what happens when your drag is not set, guys. You lose your fish. Unfortunate. If you ever find yourself fishing a shallow, weedy pond, the key to catching fish is the casting angle. Look at this, parallel to the bank, you got flooded trees, you got grass, you got cover, everything a fish might need right here. But if you look towards the middle, five or six feet deep, devoid of anything, not attractive to the fish. So you really gotta cast pillow to the bank somewhere like here. Sometimes you gotta get into those leech infested waters, but trust me, if it'll help you catch more fish, and especially some big monster fish, it'll definitely be worth it in the end. Oh, that might be a bite. It's not. That might be a bite. That is indeed. Ah! Ah! What? It snapped me off. A clean snap. Are there snakeheads in here? What the fudge? The guys, guys, one of two things just happened. One, a snapping turtle bit my bait and snapped my line. Or two, there's a fish with teeth in here. There could be snakes in here. Look, my knot did not break. That was a clean cut on my freaking line. Gosh, that could have been anything. Two things. One, someone was fishing. And two, this is a storm drain pond. Here's a giant storm drain right here. You know what? Let's put, let's poke down our, uh, our camera. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Oh, what do we got here? We've got a school of some type of fry. Let's see if I can get, let's see if I can get close to them. Guys, comment below. What kind of fry are these by the storm drain? Now let's take a look and let us see if there's anything epic inside of this storm drain. Oh no. Okay. It's time to go guys. I just picked off 20 ticks, literally 20 ticks off my body. They're everywhere. This guy, this place is freaking Tick City. I gotta get out of here. All right, oh, I feel them coming everywhere. We gotta go. I'm out. We'll be back though.